systems of the human body. Skeletal system. Bones. The skeletal system is made up of bones, joints, and cartilage. Bones are hard and they support our whole body. If we didn't have bones, our body would be like jelly or a jellyfish. Joints connect our bones and allow movement in our skeleton. Cartilage is softer and more elastic than bones, and you can find it in your nose and ears. The muscular system and skeletal system make our locomotor system. We have more than 200 bones, like our skull, spinal cord, humerus, ribs, and femur bones. Other bones that we have are jawbone, vertebrae, clavicle, shoulder blade, ulna, radius, sternum, pelvis, kneecap, tibia, fibula. Muscular system, the muscles. The muscular system is made up of muscles. They are able to make movement because they can contract and relax without breaking. They are elastic. They also protect our organs. Our muscular system together with our skeletal system make our locomotor system. Muscles connect together with our bones with fibers called tendons. The connection of both systems, directed by the nervous system, allows us to move. We have more than 600 muscles throughout the whole body, like biceps, pectorals, abs, masseter, deltoids, quadriceps, We also have these other muscles. Trapezius. Triceps. Glutes. And calves. The nervous system. The nervous system helps you relate to your environment. It regulates and coordinates the activities and functions of the body through nervous impulses. The senses also send information from the outside to the brain. The nervous system is divided into the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of the brain and the spinal cord. 
The brain is located inside the skull and is made up of the brain, cerebellum, and spinal bulb. The spinal cord is located inside the spine. The peripheral nervous system is formed by the nerves that run throughout our body. The respiratory system. The respiratory system is in charge of breathing. Through the nose or mouth, we obtain oxygen, which passes through the pharynx, larynx, and trachea to the lungs. In the lungs, oxygen is exchanged for carbon dioxide. The red blood cells are responsible for carrying oxygen to all parts of the body. Carbon dioxide is a harmful substance that we have to eliminate from our body by going back out the way it came in from the lungs to the nose or mouth. Carbon dioxide is eliminated from the body without us even realizing it. The digestive system is in charge of making food energy for our bodies. Digestion begins in the mouth when we chew the food. This is mixed with saliva, forming the food bolus. The food bolus passes through the pharynx and esophagus to the stomach, where digestion will continue thanks to the gastric juices that are capable of undoing it. Next, it goes to the small intestine and then to the large intestine. The water and nutrients that our body needs are absorbed in the intestines. The capillaries of the circulatory system that surround the intestines collect nutrients and distribute them throughout the body. Finally, the solid remains that have been left over from the digestion are eliminated through the anus. The excretory system. The excretory system is responsible for eliminating waste. The kidneys clean the blood, producing urine with all the substances that your body does not need. When the filtration in the kidneys is finished, the urine goes on to the urinary tract. Subsequently, from the ureter to the bladder, it accumulates here until you feel like going pee. Then it exits through the urethra and is expelled outside the body. The circulatory system. The circulatory system transports nutrients and oxygen through the whole body thanks to blood through our veins, arteries, capillaries, and the heart, which is the main organ in this system. The heart pumps blood without oxygen and waste through the arteries to the lungs, where it expels waste and collects oxygen and nutrients needed by cells. Oxygenated blood passes through the heart and is pumped into the organs through the arteries. The organs receive the oxygenated blood and return it without oxygen, but with waste that goes back to the heart, which then pumps it to the lungs, where it picks up oxygen and expels the waste. Have you enjoyed this video about the human body? We have many more. Subscribe to our channel by clicking on the seal. And if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the squares.